Welcome back, everybody. I am the Empress. I'm happy to be here with y'all today. Happy Valentine's Day. Was the 15th. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed your Valentine's Day for those who celebrate. Now, let's get down to the business, okay? So, this is going to be a read um, on what's going on with the Divine Masculine and the Karmic, okay? So, let's get some energy. Let's see what's going on. Alright, what's going on with the Masculine and the Karmic? between the masculine and the karmic we got talking so interested con conversing more awaited messages arrives text call email hoovering so then we got not today heartbroken so somebody could not be getting the same attention that they was getting previously and somebody is heartbroken this could be masculine or karmic It's like it's not the same vibe. See, yeah, not today just, you know, pop back out. And not today is not dealing with hurt, avoiding a, com a conversation, call or person, boundaries, still angry. So somebody could be upset. Somebody could be upset. Let's see. Tell me more. Yeah, we got a hammer. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. And we got Cupid's arrow. I like you. An X here. I feel like the same energy that was given yesterday is not being given today. That's the energy that I'm getting. Like, it's not the same energy. It ain't the same not giving what it was given yesterday we got the sword and the rose clarity truth revelation force honor protection and power okay so somebody is trying to get some clarity on who someone is dating somebody's trying to get some information on who somebody is dating meeting someone new dating getting back out there planning setting a date okay so Somebody's trying to get some information on who someone is dating. So it seems like the focus isn't even on this connection. Somebody is focused on somebody else's connection. Mask. Yeah. See this person here, somebody wearing a mask in this connection. They be doing all that kissing and lovey-dovey shit. We got love and kisses. They be doing all that lovey dovey, kissy face, kissy face. But this person really out here wearing a mask. This person really out here wearing a mask. Like I said, it's not giving the same energy that it was giving yesterday. So somebody putting on a show. Okay, so somebody has their twin flame on their mind. Somebody has their twin flame on their mind. It looks like somebody's twin flame is evolving without them. We got the butterfly, paradise, and the phoenix. Okay, so it's like somebody's twin flame. Somebody could be sabotaged or feeling some type of way because their twin flame is out here on the dating scene, dating someone else. They're trying to wear a mask um, and not talk about it or not show any type of feelings about it, but their mind is really on their twin flame. Their mind is on their twin flame. All right, so we got, yeah, see, we got the Grim Reaper and sunglasses, okay? So, we got passion and coffee cup here, too, okay? But I feel like coffee cup is meeting and conversing, savoring, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. So, I feel like 
it was good for the moment, like passion, like the chemistry. This is passion. This is chemistry. This is being on the same page. Y'all equally liking each other. Y'all having fun together. I feel like it was for the moment. Something was for the moment, savoring this moment. But something is not really what it seems. The Grim Reaper and the Sunglass, something is not really what it seems. So somebody putting on a show. Somebody putting on a show. Mirror. Mm-hmm. Somebody is mirroring. They're mirroring each other's energies. Somebody really heartbroken. Okay, heartbroken because they're in this com they're in this karmic relationship that they really don't want to be in. They just in it because the person is nice, sweet, giving. I'm really getting like this person is really giving. This person could definitely be their soulmate. You know, this is someone that they, you know, enjoy being with, enjoy spending time with. But it, what it looks like to me is that, that somebody is wearing a mask. Mask is right here in the middle of this read. Mask is right here. This person... <coughs> mm. <coughs> this person energy isn't the same as it was it's like the day's a new day now i can pull the mask off their focus is um they're trying to figure out who their twin flame is dating this could be an ex i feel like it's an ex they're looking at who their ex is dating like okay this can be the time that they're going to bring out the person that they're dating Okay, so that's what I feel like is going on here. This person is, I feel like this masculine is breaking this karmic's heart. Because I feel like he he is, you know, he's listening to his ego and i feel like he also has like a fear of commitment a fear of intimacy like fear of things getting too deep so he could run off a lot um and i feel like she could be chasing him she is easily manipulated easily used easily charmed um she might need you know need to set certain boundaries but they have some type of mission I got soulmates here. We got soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. So they may have some type of agreement. Whatever the case is, I feel like it's for show. I'm just going to keep it real. I feel like it's for show. I feel like, yeah, put on a smile. Put on a smile for, for right now. Put this smile on. I'm going to take this picture. And we're gonna make it look good. Tell me what's going on with this masculine and this karmic right here. What is going on? King of Cups. What's going on between this masculine and this karmic? Look at this. They're trying to keep up. Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. They're trying to. They're trying to keep up. trying to keep up. I don't know who they're trying to show out for or it's it's giving like a shit show by Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Cups and the Six of Cups. Seven of Swords and Five of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Yeah, somebody is waiting until Valentine's Day to say this is exactly what they're saying. Somebody waited until Valentine's Day to say something. 
They waited until Valentine's Day. King of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands. They waited until Valentine's Day. This person is a is a liar. This person is manipulative, and he got some type of trick, some type of something up his sleeve with that Seven of Swords energy. Yeah, see, this person really over here really having regrets, but they don't want the world to know that. They don't want everybody to know that. Why is the Six of Cups here? Six of Swords. Okay. So this masculine here is trying to make it seem like he's over his past, that he's moved on. He found somebody new. He's in a new connection. He has a brand new start. So this masculine is trying to prove that he has gotten over an ex. Okay. Six of Cups and the Six of Swords. This is saying you're over the past. So he's waited until he is planned out, is plotted. Wait until Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is going to be the day that I'm going to confess my love profess my love show somebody that they're special why is the paper cups here empress yeah uh-huh this is the day that he's going to tell his 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 female yeah he's saying look i think we should keep it that way because everybody talking about, I feel like it's a lot of eyes on this connection, you know, a lot of eyes. Why is the Empress here? He could be getting advice from a mother, a sister, a female, um, saying, hey, wait until Valentine's Day to show that, you, that you're over your past. Why is the Empress here? Eight of Pentacles. Okay, I'm hearing working together, but somebody not really happy. Okay, why are the Eight of Pentacles here? Somebody's really not happy in this connection. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Okay, to work on a relationship, the Two of Cups, okay. So this masculine here waited until Valentine's Day. He could have told, um, told everybody and told the whole world, look, I love you. We got the lover's card here. This is this masculine. This masculine did this. We got the emperor. This masculine did this, okay? He, for some reason, like, this masculine is in competition. For whatever reason, he feels like he needs to compete. This is a very low blow. This is very childish and childlike um, and very just petty. Just giving our petty vibes. Okay. Maybe he owed this karmic an apology for something. I'm seeing that as well, too. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Yep. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So, this masculine is being pushed. He feels like kind of pushed to do this to apologize i feel like that's this masculine way to apologize in front of everybody because i'm getting everybody's watching okay so this was done possibly like online or something like that it's for everybody to see okay what's going on everybody can see what's going on okay this this masculine crazy and i'm hearing hurry up before i change my mind like it don't even feel genuine why is the queen of pentacles here I don't like this Seven of Swords and that Queen of Pentacles. I don't know if this masculine took some money. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? The Magician. This masculine is very, very tricky. Okay, he's he's on a finesse. He's on a finesse spring right now. Finesse and spring. We got the Magician and the Seven of Swords. We know this is ultimate mind game player. Okay, this, this person... They trained, okay. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but this could could be in regards to some money. I'm hearing this masculine want to keep up with his friends. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Twelve of 
Two of Pentacles. I'm hearing that's your chance to start an argument. That's your chance to start a fight. That's your chance. It's like all eyes on me. That's your chance to start an argument. I feel like this masculine wants to see who all is paying attention. I'm seeing this masculine doing this for attention. Like, he's actually looking to see who's watching. We got the paper swords and the hermit. He's actually looking to see who's liking it, looking to see who's paying attention, looking to see who's going to say something, sitting there waiting by, for his inbox to jump off to see who's going to say something, who's paying attention, who want me, who... This this masculine is, is real tricky. I feel like this masculine is trying to keep his finances together. Like, if whatever it is, I'm hearing at whatever cost, he has to keep his finances together. I'm hearing, you think I'm telling the truth? Come on now. Eight of Swords, Knight of Cups, King of Swords. I'm hearing, you think I was telling the truth? Come on now. Come on now, it's me. I needed to apologize. To get what you know, get that out of the way. Go ahead and get that out of the way. Mm. This Carmen, why is the Five of Pentacles? Temperance could be a Sagittarius, but this masculine, I feel like, don't have nowhere to go. Like, he is like all over the place, kind of giving me all over the place vibes. I don't know, I'm just getting like, you know, all over the place vibes. I'm hearing something temporary. Temporary situation. Why is the temperance here? Knight of Cups. I'm getting a bunch of scamming going on. Yeah, see, I'm hearing you know this situation was temporary. Mm. Yep, see, this person, this masculine waited for everybody, waited until it was trending, waited until it was popular to do this or say this, waiting until all eyes was going to be on him um, to apologize. This was his way to of apologize. And Hermit, Page of Cups, and the Three of Swords, this was his way to apologize. He didn't think that he could really do it. So this was his way to apologize. That was his way to apologize to the Carmen. I feel like he told the Carmen that he loved her, gave her some, showered her with some attention, gave her a little bit of love bombing to get back in good. Yep, he was waiting until it was a trend. All right, so we got the King of Wands. This karmic over here is, uh, <laughs> her guard is up. She feels like she should put her guard up. She's she's starting to become suspicious. Um, She feels like something's up. She feels like something's up. She's suspicious of this behavior. She's not sure what's going on. She's not sure what's going on. It's real suspicious for him to do that. Like, normally he may not come off like that. But I feel like she's a very suspicious. I'm getting like, she kind of like, mm, yep. Yeah. Then I tell you, what made you want to change up like that? What made you switch up like that all of a sudden? I'm telling you, 
she's 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 suspicious of the behavior. She's already kind of like catching on. He just got to tell her that he's sorry. You know, he's tired of messing up. Tired of messing up the relationship. But this masculine over here is really having regrets. Yeah, this masculine over here having regrets. This karmic is trying to find out if this really true. Like, if it's, if it's really how he feel. Like, do you really feel like that? Because, like, this is all of a sudden. It's a sudden. Why you want to wait till now to do it? That's what I'm hearing. Why you want to wait till now to do it? Now she's now she's on edge because she's kind of like, okay, well, what's next? What's next? Because I feel like they started off as like just just well, buddies. And it's like now she's like, okay, well, what's next? You know, kind of like what's next vibes. Like what? Uh, it's a sh it's some type of show. Um, I'm not sure if she's completely understanding it, but this is what's definitely going on. You don't wait until that's crazy that he waited until the day of to that it was popular for everybody to do, and when he felt like all eyes were going to be on him to actually do that. Or if that's a way to apologize. It's like kind of weird. It's, it's not weird. It's actually called narcissism. And it's called love bombing. Okay. It's called love bombing. Yeah, he's looking at this karmic as a come up. Page of Swords, Chariot, and an Ace of Pentacles. He's looking at this situation as a come up. That's why this is saying uh, the temp the situation is temporary. The situation is temporary, very. Um, as long as she's as long as she's going along with it, he's gonna stick to it. The moment she figures it out, I feel like this masculine is going to try his you know love bombing tactics. But he got a lot of tactics, got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. All right, but yeah, this is a this is a shit show. This this that's just that's a shit show. I'm sorry, it's a shit show. It's not real. Uh, I feel like it's like a it's like a book. It's like when you're on the edge of your seat, when you're on a good chapter in your book, it's like okay, what's next? Type of vibe. It's kind of you know on that type of level y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below i'm gonna chat with y'all later ciao y'all